the problem guys that adam created in the beginning it was so big that it caused the world to be like this and it was so big that no one could uh, solve it only a god because what they did was so much was so big that only daddy and jesus could deal with that problem you understand so you find people uh thanking god thank you thank you thank you god god you gotta stand this they are thanking god for the things that happened i mean they are thanking god for the things of the world you know guys if you just can just read the bible as as it is do not look at it as a book that criticizes you because if you look at the bible as a book that is there to criticize you you will not accept what it says take it as it is because i i did say before that there's nothing wrong with the bible there's nothing wrong with daddy there's nothing wrong with jesus but there's everything wrong with me there's everything wrong with you that's why they wrote it to us so people do not want to accept criticism from the word you need to accept it in order to understand what happened in the beginning so as i've been trying to explain because now uh, you know i'm getting to a point where i i i, I have or am realizing that this podcast now are too many you know people will be able you know each person on earth will be able to find at least one because i i want to make sure that people are aware of what is happening in churches you know this message of the beast this message of money message of earthly riches this message of earthly blessings is not the message from jesus it's the message of the beast you understand so right there in the beginning when adam was created and put by daddy and jesus they were spiritually he was spiritually alive for daddy could not create a spiritually dead person because that will mean he is vindictive he's wanting this person to go to hell so he left him there but human beings were wired or designed to live by the word of god so when they disobeyed adam died spiritually and was no longer the image of god and you often hear people say we are like god we are like god you're not like god because you need to accept what happened in the beginning adam died spiritually when he disobeyed he died spiritually so he was no longer the image of god in the spirit he then partook of satan's nature and became like satan so all of us here on earth when we are born we have that nature of satan you need to accept the truth if you don't accept the the, the truth of the word because it criticizes me i am criticized by the word it criticizes so i have to accept it if you are a perfectionist you won't accept this criticism thus you will either take it and preach something different you understand or you will ignore it completely you need to accept it as it is because there's nothing wrong with it they wrote that word because everything was wrong with us but what is wrong with me is not my fault it was adam's because adam is the one who sinned and disobeyed daddy's word thus dying spiritually and they were still in his loins you were still in his loins So when he died spiritually Adam before he died he was under the administration under the governance under the rulership under the setup of God in the garden of Eden then when he died spiritually after sinning after disobeying God's word he was banished from the garden of Eden so no one can tell you what the garden of Eden looked like no one can tell you the covenant of God is like or oh, the rulership or setup because only Adam was under it then he died spiritually and was banished from the garden of eden then when that happened he i mean satan took over and the earth became that was actually the um, the beginning of satan's rulership here on earth all these things you are seeing here on earth people are blaming god god did this where was he when this happened god is not existing you know you know people do not understand what happened in the beginning when you understand what happens in the beginning you start looking at the world from a different point of view you understand thus you will find people uh, complaining that is god god did this god is a fake like god did this they do not understand his ways they do not understand what he wrote in the word they do not understand scriptures once you do so jesus comes because the israelites only knew the law so jesus is coming and saying listen i was there in the beginning that's why he says before abraham was i am he's actually saying i was there in the beginning and that is why i've been saying that i love john the writer of the gospel of john i love paul because those two guys are very wise so oh, john catches uh this revelation about jesus 
Jesus. He says, he is from the beginning. He is the word of God that has always been in the beginning. And uh, Paul is saying that everything was created through, for, and by Jesus, meaning Jesus was there in the beginning. That is why um, the teachings, uh, they trace Jesus back there in the beginning and they make him our ancestor. So he now comes, you understand, and is is here and is telling us the truth because truth was given to Jesus, but the laws were given to the Israelites, to Moses, you understand. So Jesus is coming to tell us about a kingdom of heaven that we lost because when Adam was banished, he did not only lose his spirit and died spiritually and his flesh died as well and the ground uh, died as well. In the world, guys died as well. You know, so Jesus is coming and saying, you lost that kingdom right there in the beginning. So I'm bringing it back. That's why the only message that is coming from Jesus, it's the message of the kingdom of heaven, not the message of money, not the message of earthly riches, not the message of uh, earthly blessings. You understand? Because people have turned uh, the word of God and changed it because they wanted the word to suit us. The, the word should not suit me. The word should criticize me. The word should turn against me because I am not right because of what Adam had done. You understand? So now I'm trying to connect all of these things together, you know, because uh, as I've said, I've made so many podcasts and uh, people now understand where the message of the kingdom of heaven is coming from, you know, because I've been quoting from Jesus' uh, parables and everything, you know. And guys, guys, I am not ignorant of the fact also that the disciples of Jesus, they went to him because they kept hearing him speaking in parables. And they went to him and said, Master, in the Gospel of Meditation, why do you speak to people in parables? And he responded and said, because the secret knowledge of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. That is why he will speak in parables in public and all. And when they were all together, him and the disciples, he will start, he will ask them, did you understand the parable? And he will explain the parable to them because this secret knowledge of the kingdom of heaven guys is not for the world that is why perhaps is the reason why people do not understand what happened in the beginning you understand so i am trying to explain that from jesus's uh teachings what happened in the beginning perhaps you will you know you understand get it if you are a sheep you will get it because sheep belong I mean, the sheep belong to Jesus' kingdom. You understand? So if you are a sheep, you will understand. And this must be also explained to you. You understand? Because if this message of the kingdom of heaven resonates with you, I mean, guys, it resonated with John. John was not with Jesus at the time. John had never met Jesus. Yes, they were born around the same time, Elizabeth and Mary. But uh, John lived in the forest. Daddy could not allow John to live with human beings and pastors because they will uh, corrupt him. Pastors have the tendency of changing the word. They did it back right there as they're doing it right now because they realize that people love the message of money, the message of riches, and the message of earthly blessings. So they always have the tendency of changing God's word. So daddy hid John the Baptist in the forest. The guy came with the message of the kingdom of heaven. He says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. You understand? And that was the same message that Jesus had because he starts preaching and says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. You understand? And then he deals with his disciples. And then later, after he's left, he's dealing with Paul. And Paul is also dealing with the message of the kingdom of heaven. So this message of the kingdom of heaven, guys, is for those who belong to the kingdom of heaven. The message of earthly blessings, riches, and and, 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 and and in money is for the people of the world. You understand? So churches are filled with people who want to hear the message of the beast, the message of money, earthly blessings, and uh, riches because they are of the world. They will not accept the message that Jesus came with. I mean, we have the Bible with us, yet nobody is accepting this message of the kingdom of heaven. They leave it, they desert it, and go to the message of the beast because that one is lucrative. There is money. Go to people who, I mean, go to churches and find out how much money there is. There's so much money. Pastors are getting so much money because people give. When you preach to people that, that I think of the world are blessings, people are going to bless you as well. As it is, pastors are receiving cars from, from the congregation, are receiving uh, mentions from the congregation because they are preaching that these things are blessings. You understand? You stick with the word of God. It still remains the only source. I will always say that. It still remains the only source. You understand? So I don't know how pastors were tempted by 
Satan and all of that, whether it was because of the covenant, maybe they sat down and said, well, it was God who wrote the Old Testament and it was God through Jesus who wrote the New Testament so we can pick and choose. Not realizing that the Old Testament was sealed with the blood of animals and people were spiritually dead, their blessings were here on earth. But those who are of the kingdom of heaven, their blessings are reserved in heaven because they have gone back to the kingdom of their father, even though they are residing here on earth. So their blessings are reserved in heaven so there is a change of laws there is a change of priesthood for priesthood was uh, was from the line of Moses the Leviticus now it's Jesus Jesus did not come from the line of uh, the Leviticus the line of Moses you understand so Jesus is coming from the line of David you understand so the priesthood is now with Jesus so when there is a new priesthood there should be a change of laws just like Paul explains in the letter to the Hebrews you understand so guys there are many things we need to understand as well so you can't say that oh because I was employed by this company and then after a year or two I, I was promoted and given a new contract with, with different clause and now you sit down and, and, and pick can choose as if like it's multiple choice oh well i'll choose that cloth from that old contract you understand i mean hello just because it's the same company it doesn't work like that you take the new or you reject the new and go back to the old now the problem is with daddy the old doesn't work it's absolute you understand because he's dealing with the son he says that in time past i spoke to you through your forefathers meaning the israelite the prophet he said i spoke to you through your forefathers the prophet but now i am speaking to you through my son jesus you understand so there's no need to pick and and, and, and choose you know as if like a multiple choice we're choosing the old and the new so they go about looking for every scripture of money particularly in the old testament because they want money the earthly blessings they go to the old testament because they want those you understand so you stick with the new and you need to understand this kingdom very well you understand the message of jesus in order you understand to be able to to work with Jesus because you'll end up uh, fighting against him because of the lust of the flesh, because of temptations. You know, I was speaking about the fact that um, people here on earth, uh, they tend to judge, you know, and treat gays and lesbians as if they are the worst people here on earth. Yet you find that their problem is not a demonic problem. Their problem is the flesh problem. Once they learn to fight their flesh, they also become spiritually alive, just like you who have received the, the, the blood of Jesus. You understand? So the flesh, guys, is problematic, problematic. You need to learn how to, I mean, first of all, you need to know this nature of a dead flesh because it is a nature, all right? It's just a dead nature. You know, so understanding all of those things makes you cooperate with daddy and not fight against him and change his word to please people. I mean, I can't change the, the word. I understand that the word of God, guys, criticizes me and is and it is against me. I simply need to accept it. I simply need to believe what Jesus said. You understand? Otherwise, Satan is going to defeat you. You know, so speaking about um, temptations, because it's important to speak about temptations, guys. Uh, damn. I look at them and I'm like, damn, temptations. Everything here on earth, guys, is a temptation. Everything here on earth is a test. You know, L let me stop here, guys, uh, before I go beyond and we'll continue. Thank you.